Hey everybody and welcome to Walmart Storytime. My name is DJ and I'm so excited to have one of my favorite authors back with us. You probably know him from his great work on titles such as I Am Every Good Thing and The King of Kindergarten. Now he's back with a new book called The Queen of Kindergarten and right in time for the back to school season. Will you all please help me welcome New York Times best-selling author, Mr. Derek Barnes. Derek, how are you, sir? Pretty good, DJ. How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Hey, good to see you too. Uh, and thank you so much for being here. Now, before I turn it over to you to read your awesome new book, um, let me just ask you, what made you want to do a follow-up to The King of Kindergarten? Vanessa Bradley Newton, and uh, the amazing illustrator, she's like a big sister to me of both books. Uh, when we went on tour in 2019, that was one of the questions that we received at every stop. Every mother, grandmother, dad, teacher would ask us, when were we going to write the Queen of Kindergarten? So I went to work on it while we were on tour. And uh, here we are. You know, it it, uh, it is a great follow up. I think I tried to do something a little bit different this time. You know, so I tried to do this one in first person. And I think we did a beautiful job and uh, just introducing the world to the main character, Miss MJ Malone. Yeah, and speaking of MJ, I know um, she's the, the young character, as you mentioned, who's making her way to school for the very first time. And I can appreciate, I can appreciate anybody who goes by their initials, obviously. So what inspired you to create that character in particular? The character is actually inspired by my wife. You know, we have four amazing sons. We weren't fortunate enough to, you know, have a little girl and add a girl to the bunch. But I just figured if we had a daughter, she would probably be just like my wife, just full of energy brilliant, beautiful. And uh, I, I, I uh, used a name from a friend of mine. Uh, his daughter's name is MJ, MJ Malone. It just, it just kind of rolls off the tongue. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you, sir, uh, to read your great book. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here's Derek Barnes reading The Queen of Kindergarten. Take it away, Derek. Thank you very much, DJ. The Queen of Kindergarten, written by yours truly and illustrated by the amazing Vanessa Brantley Newton. Uh, start off this book with a quote from one of my heroes, Marion Wright Edelman. Children must have at least one person who believes in them. It could be a counselor, a teacher, a preacher, a friend. It could be you. You never know when a little love, a little support will plant a small seed of hope. Yay, yay, it's time for school. MJ, MJ, going to school. That's my little three-year-old brother, Samson, waking me up with a song. He is so sweet. After I wash up, I put on my first day of school outfit. And when I'm dressed, I stand there looking at myself in the mirror just because I can. Mama washed and braided my hair last night and it looks so good. But she always helps me look nice. Yes, she does. MJ, girl, did you just step off the cover of a magazine, Mama says. Then she tells me I'm only missing one thing, and she places a sparkly tiara on my head. I wore this on my first day of school, she says, but today you will become the queen of kindergarten. What does the queen of kindergarten do, mama? I ask. First, us queens brighten up every room we enter. Second, us queens are caring and kind. And third, the good ones are always helpful to others, she says. I have a good memory and I'm going to remember all of this. I sure will. One, two, three. Then daddy says in his deepest voice, the royal chariot awaits your highness. That means he's ready to take me to school in his pickup truck. I kiss mama on each cheek and we bow at each other. You know, queen stuff. At school, I let daddy hold my hand and walk me up to the door. Poor daddy. He doesn't want to leave. He gives me a big hug, one last look, and then he's gone. Welcome everyone, says our teacher, Miss Loving Good. Please look for your name card on the desk. That'll be your new home. I look left, I look right, and there it is, MJ Malone. I decorate my name card with drawings of my four favorite things, dolphins, comets, skyscrapers, and my piggy bank. I get excited when Ms. Lovingood says everyone will have their own task for the entire week. And I know right away which one I want, window monitor. It'll be my job to open up the blinds and let the sunlight in the room every morning. Doesn't that sound good? 
Plus, brightening up a room is the very first thing the mama said us queens do. So I sure will. But Raina, the girl sitting next to me, has her head hung low, looking sad. I want to go home. Right away, I remember mama saying that us queens are caring and kind. So I reach out for Raina's hands. She grabs mine, squeezes, and then gives me a smile. That makes me feel real good, too, you know? This love of good calls on me to pick out a book for the classroom read, and I find one about a boy getting a royal haircut. Later, I have Leo put away the blocks. Helping is another queenly thing. One, two, three, four. For lunch, I have leftover spaghetti. And guess what? Raina does too. My mama says there's nothing wrong with leftovers. I promise to bring Leo some next time because Sharon is my jam. At recess, Ms. Lovingood teaches us how to double dutch. Me and a girl named Regina twirl the ropes like twin tornadoes, but it doesn't matter. Miss Lovingood has lightning in her shoes. We've never seen a grown-up's feet move so quickly. When we go inside, we head to the art room. I make the cutest picture of Samson. Then we go to the music room and I hit a few high notes for everybody. And I sure do love gym time too. Did I tell you how good I am at soccer? Shoot, don't let the tiara fool you. Before it's time to go home, we all sit on the classroom rug that looks like the planet Earth. We munch, crunch, and nibble on delicious apple slices and sandwich cookies with strawberry filling. Miss Lovingood plays soft jazz music like Mama does sometimes. She calls it wind down time, and it's a perfect way to end the day. Back home, I sure brighten Samson's day when I give him the picture I made for him and he plants a sloppy kiss on my cheek, that boy. At bedtime, I tell mama, I did all the nice things you listed. You did? Well, that means you get to keep the tiara. Wear it proudly, baby. I sure will, mama, I sure will. MJ, the queen of kindergarten, that's me. All right, nice job, nice job, sir. Uh, just an amazing story as usual, Derek. And I wanna make sure, as you mentioned, just wanna reiterate that the awesome illustrations were created by Vanessa Brantley Newton, so a big shout out to her. Now, Derek, obviously, uh, we appreciate you being here. I think this is your, your, what, your second time being here, the third book that we featured of yours too. Um, but I wanna ask you, is there anything else you wanna leave our viewers with before we sign off, especially teachers, staff, uh, students, and even parents? Well, I just want to start off by saying to, to teachers and educators all over the country how much we love and appreciate you. To the parents that will be sending their children, especially the ones sending their kindergartners off to school, because you'll be sending your baby out into the world for the first time. Um, don't be nervous. Don't worry about your baby. They're going to be all right. Uh, I wrote this book because this will be the first time many of us send our children out into the world. And hopefully, God willing, we're sending good people out to the world because we sure need it right now. And for all the babies, all the kindergartners that are heading to school for the first time, have fun, make a lot of new friends, and be open to learning as much as you possibly can. And to all the students heading back to school, have a great school year, yo. Yeah, great words there. And thank you all so much for watching. You've been great company, and we will see you next time. Bye, y'all. Hey everybody, it's Derek Barnes. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe now so you never miss a story time.